to kick off the video, I actually want to get into kind of debunk an idea that I think that's really out there. And it's the idea that bonding is easy. People think that you can just kind of throw money into it and boom, you start making money. And that is pretty far from the truth. In my personal experience, and from what I've talked to a lot of people about it, botting takes a lot of money, time, and patience. You're gonna have to take time to learn, take time to practice, and the, you need the patience that you're not gonna always be copying. You can go two, three drops and not hit anything, but you learn a lot in those two, three drops. So yeah, just before we get into the real meat of the episode, just heads up. If you wanna get into botting, just know that it's not gonna be an instant success. And that doesn't mean that you're bad. It, everyone goes through that. You take a little time to learn, but once you start going, it starts getting pretty addicting when you start copying. Some things that you're gonna need though when you get into body is capital. Capital is very important because everything costs money. The bot costs money, proxies cost money, setup costs money, to buy shoe costs money. So to make money, you're gonna have to put a decent amount of money in. Second is that you need a decent computing system. Minimum, I would say, is four gigabytes of RAM and two cores of CPU. I'd say if you have that as a minimum, you should be okay to run an okay amount of tasks. And we'll get more into what tasks are later. Third is decent internet, or at least buy a server. I'll get into server on a different episode, but decent internet, at least so that your bot can stay continuously running. If you have really bad internet, I would say botting might not be the way for you. Maybe you know, go manual. Last is a decent understanding. Have a decent understanding of reselling. In my eyes, while this isn't required, I think it's important because you could be, there are many drops out there, you know, drops weekly, even daily sometimes in some weeks. And a lot of times you're gonna have to make decisions. Okay, I have this much money, do I wanna go for this shop or not? And understanding the shoe game is important because sometimes cook groups are pretty pretty on the spot but sometimes they don't always get on the spot there'll be certain shoes that people don't really recognize or it's kind of like an old sneaker that's being retro and people aren't quick to recognize that oh that shoe came out a while back and the shoe has a lot of value but some people might not recognize it right off the bat so i think just really understanding the shoe game and the market itself is very important Next up, we're actually going to be going into the botting side of botting. Uh, there are three important things, and actually, I'm going to have us look over at my laptop screen so we can get more into detail. So, here we go. So, one is a cook group. A cook group is important because, as you can see on the screen, cook groups are going to be able to provide you with this information. Retail prices, the style codes, where it's dropping, keywords. So these guides are really important in terms of cook group or in terms of botting because you're not going to have time to go look for all this information on your own and paying maybe like 10 to 30 dollars a month while it sounds like a lot maybe in the long run it saves you a lot of time and in this game time is money personally i actually run a free cook group so if you're interested it'll be in the link down below yep that'll be cook group is one two will be setup setup is very important in terms of running because if your setup is messed up and you don't take the time to put the correct for example style code or you don't put the correct keywords you're gonna end up copying something different and that sucks i've seen it happen before where people cop like a carpet instead of a shoe and now you're stuck with a carpet coming to your house rather than the shoe that you wanted something else that's very important in my eyes is proxies here we go Here's, a, here's my dashboard for proxies. But that proxies are very important for drops because let's say that your your car's your bot's a car. If you put really bad gas into your car, it's not gonna perform the way it should. And it's gonna destroy technically your car. While bad proxies won't destroy your bot, it won't let you cop. You're not gonna hit shoes if you're not putting a decent good amount of money into proxies itself too. Buying good proxies is important. And Wrath proxies is something that's been hitting for me a decent amount. I'm not sponsored by them, so don't take it the wrong way. I'm not here just to advertise for them, but personally, 
I've copped a decent amount of pairs with Wrath proxies. And also another proxy provider that I've been cooking pretty well with that I absolutely love recently is Strain Proxies. Strain Proxies is actually a private proxy provider, so it's a little harder to get in, but I, those two absolutely hold it down for me whenever I'm waiting for footside drops. And last, of course, but, least, but not least, will be the bot itself. Make sure to be careful. There are plenty of scams out there. There are people that say, oh, pay me this amount of money and I will get into this bot and nothing ever happened. Or either that they'll get you in and the bot's not even doing exactly what they they advertise it to be. I'd say get in touch with somebody to help you buy a bot if you want to get started. I'd say I'm, I'm here to help. I'm always here to help. You guys can contact me if you guys need help finding a bot and being finding a legit bot and not get scammed. I'm always here to help. Um, obviously there's Bot Mart and also there's Tidal Market. There's a, there's a bunch of middleman services. I'll leave some of those links down below, but easily you can contact me also if you need better understanding of how to buy these bots. Now we're actually getting into the websites. I'm gonna go through each one of them and kind of explain what I think is the best beginner bot that you guys can get for your money. First off, we're gonna actually talk about Foot Locker or Foot Sites is what I call them. Foot Sites are gonna be your Foot Lockers, your Foot Actions, your Champs, your East Bays, your Kids Foot Lockers. Pretty much all these sites are gonna be talking your general releases, your Mochas, your Volts coming up soon, and I guess even some of the Dunks are dropping soon. But these will be dropping your general releases. They're gonna be also, the stores nearby it should have similar reservation releases, but technically these guys are being run by Datadome. Datadome, if you don't understand what it is, it's a kind of like a website security provider. They used to be, a, uh, the company before was Akami, but now it's Datadome. Akami required you to have cookies, but Datadome doesn't. But now because Datadome, you don't need cookies, but your proxies are just as important. So I can't stress enough, if you're getting the body, proxies are important. You need to put the money up front for the proxies because if you don't put the money for the proxies, you're not gonna cop. But pretty much one of the best foot side bots that you can get for under $500 right now, or a little above $500 is Easy Cop Bot. Easy Cop Bot is actually one of, it was my first bot and it cooks for me almost every foot side drops. Occasionally drops, I'll drop the ball, but Easy Cop usually holds it down for me. Um, Easy Cop, I think for retail, if you buy it on this website, you can see right here, you buy now, it's actually $600. There's a lot of group buys out there. If you look hard enough, you can get it for $300. It'll be $300 every year. I can definitely help you find those group buys and try to hook you guys up to find that $300 price point. But this is definitely one of the best foot side spots there is. I'll just show you really quick. This is Easy Cop Bot, Profiles, Proxies. This is what I've copped in the last couple with just Easy Cop. So you can kind of see Easy Cop, it cooks. And you don't have to solve captures with Easy Cop. So that is also another amazing thing where I think when learning to bot, that you're not as stressed. You don't have to be sitting there solving captures. You can just be more focused on trying to understand the bot itself and also how to set up. Next up here, we're going to be going to Shopify. Um, Shoop House, I think, is one of the more iconic Shopify websites, especially because they just recently changed Shopify. But Shopify is going to be your more high-end drops. You have your Kith. You have your Concepts. You have, these are some of the websites that really they drop those high-ends, like your Sakai's, Paranoises. Those are some of the drops. Dunks. So those are some of the websites. And also just these bots. Yeah, one of the best bots I think for beginners is Nike Shoebot in terms of Shopify. Um, Nike Shoebot, while I'm not a, while I don't absolutely love it, I think it's an amazing beginner bot. It gives you everything that you need to do to be able to learn how to buy it for Shopify. Here, I'll open it real quick. You can easily create tasks. You can easily see how many different websites these guys really have a large selection of websites you can try to cop from but it gives you a lot of tools to be able to learn how to buy while it isn't as simple as easy cop it gives you 
it's the gate. I think it's a perfect gateway Shopify bot to get into really good at cooking Shopify. Um, in terms of buying Nike uh, Nike shoe bot, you can buy it for five hundred dollars a year, but there are plenty of group buys. There's plenty of coupons that you can find out there. Reach out to me if you really want Nike shoe bot. I can help you try to find a group buy or try to help you find a coupon for Nike shoe bot. I think the cheapest I've seen it is like three fifty. So, you know. Don't be in a rush. Take your time, save yourself the extra money because you're gonna be needing it for other things too. Next up, the next website or kind of website we're gonna talk about is Finish Line and JD Sports. Pretty much Finish Line and JD Sports, they're kind of run by different providers. So it's, there's only one or two bots that do cook it at a, at a cheaper level. Um, one of the most well-known ones is AIO bot. I've had people ask me about it too. AIO, AIO bot is actually pretty good. I think it's actually, it's similar to Nike Shoe bot. That's a perfect gateway bot. I think you only need to, it only costs $325. And also see right here, you can even get an exclusive discount. But if you check my card right here, $325. But I think this is actually one of the cheapest and actually usable bot that actually works consistently. I've seen people cook really well with it. Again, proxies are really important, but AIO bot two version two is pretty good. Finish line is one of the few bots that cook finish lines. Easy cop can't do finish line. Nike shoe bot can't do finish line. So this will actually be one of your few cheap price points um, uh, finish line or JD Sports bots. Uh, now we're gonna be going on to Supreme. Supreme, everyone knows about it. You have your big bots like Velox, you have your Mech, Mech, but actually Swift Soul has been cooking pretty well with on Supreme. I personally have Swift Soul. It's actually, I think only $50 right now for a bot that's actually relatively cheap and you actually can run it on your phone and you can run it anywhere. Only downside is that you can't run that many tasks, but at the same time, being able to run a bot that successfully cops on your phone, I think is amazing. But I think this is a perfect um, entry level bot for Supreme. You can easily cop your typical items. And I've seen plenty of people cop a few box logos of Swift Soul. So I'd say don't let the price be something that bars you against it. Now we go into Snipes. I would say Snipes is not a very beginner friendly botting website because you're gonna have to put down a lot of money to buy a good bot to get, to get into Snipes. Pretty much it's gonna be your Torpedo, Nebula, Heha, all those bots are 2000 plus dollars. So I'd say for right now, stay away from Snipes. There are plenty of websites out there for you to bot. So I wouldn't say that that should be your priority. Last, there's actually been a really new a, a new type of websites that people are trying to buy are retailers. You have your Targets, your Walmart, some of your card shops, but pretty much these websites have been bought it for their cards, the PS5s, but pretty much anything that's slightly profitable. Cook groups are able to provide you information with what they think is profitable from these retailers. But one of the pretty good low, low cost bots is Eve. Eve is actually a bot that did really well with PS5s and they they bought uh, these retailers pretty well. So Eve, I think it's around $300 is what it is. You have to actually go to Botmart or one of these uh, bot uh, markets. To, it's kind of like StockX in a way, but these bot markets to buy that bot, but that's definitely your lower cheap price points for that bot. Well, guys, I just want to remind you at the end of the day that if you're gonna get into botting, don't be discouraged if you don't cook all the time. Some of the top otters don't cook all the time and those guys have plenty of resources at their hands. Just remember that, keep working hard, keep at it, and you know, it'll pay off in the long run. It doesn't seem like a lot of fun when you're taking the L all the time, but once you start going, it's a lot of fun and you know, the community out here is so great. Um, yeah, and I just say I'd like to thank you guys for the continued support. If you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me. I'll leave my Instagram link right here. Also hit that like and subscribe button if you got to this point. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And also I'll leave the link to the Discord down below in the description. And yeah, this is the end of the overview of Intro to Botting. Thanks guys and I'll catch you later.